Merry Christmas week, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season so far. Everybody ready for Christmas? Um, I'm not, but I don't have any money to buy anything else, so <laughs> I guess I am done. <laughs> so today I have got, uh, I have been putting um, in this little case, plus I've got one more here, that all my makeup that I've used during the week, except for what I'm wearing today, I've already done that uh, video for you but I am very simple during the week um, I got a story to tell you about my job my job um, as you know they cut hours down to 32 hours I was getting 50 hours a week so I was getting 10 hours a week in overtime um, I'll tell you what I make I make $10 an hour so I was making $15 an hour for 10 hours a week and that really helped me catch up a little bit um, but not get ahead so um, I went a little crazy and I spent a little money, you know, on makeup and stuff. And so I didn't save anything. Well, our business has slowed down. So um, they lowered our hours to 32 hours a week, which absolutely killed me because I could barely make my rent. And so that put a stop to, to my beauty boxes it put a stop to a lot of things um i had to be very careful about what i spent so now this last week they went back up to 40 hours so at least i'm getting 40 hours a week i cannot they won't approve any overtime so i still lost that 15 dollars an hour or 150 dollars a week basically um from what i was getting before but at least we're at 40 and my three-month uh, probationary period is over on the 29th so hopefully I will be getting a raise I don't know though they might extend my probation for another month because somebody tattled on me and told them that I was on Facebook while I was at work so I'm I got a verbal warning um, so that may put my raise back a month or my review back a month whatever it is um, which I knew it was wrong, and I did it anyway, you know, so that's on my own fault. That is on me. So, stupid, stupid, stupid. I mean, I've gotten in trouble for this before, not at this job, but at other jobs. I do you like my sparkly top? Can't really see it, but... Um, anyway... <coughs> Excuse me. The Christmas tree behind me is actually my Christmas tree from my living room. I brought it in here. I thought it'd really be a kind of a cute touch for our videos. I do not have any light above me today. I usually have my overhead light on. And I did that because of the Christmas tree. So I hope, hopefully these will come out okay. Um, I have my, my light behind or in front of me here and my makeup light here too. So um, hopefully that will help. So anyway... Um, the job situation, I moved, remember I moved from the plant, I work at a pet food company, I, I am purchasing clerk, so I order all of the meat that they use, I order all of the cans that they use, etc, etc, um, and I, I started out at the plant, I had an office, but I shared an office, which I was not happy about, and guys were in and out of my office all day, and they would take my pens and they would, you know, rifle through my drawers and I just didn't like that. So they moved me to the warehouse, which I had a nice clean office. I had carpeting on the floor, the walls were white, the, you know, I had a nice big desk. I put a couple bookcases in there with pictures on them and, and I had pictures on the walls and, you know, just stuff. It was my office, so I decorated it up. I loved it. Um, Last week, they moved me back to the plant. They, I had a supervisor that was very ornery, and he didn't like women. That was his main thing. He got along fine with all the guys, but the women, he just was mean to. So they fired him, and because they fired him, they had to move me back to the plant um, so I could help out with his duties. Plus, you know, I still am purchasing clerk I you know still do that but um, I have 
you know, a few other things that I have to do now. I have to cover for the office when, you know, because they're shorthanded up there. I, I do lots of, I'm jack of all trades, I guess. But anyway, I have, I'm in the same office. It's a smaller office. It doesn't have carpet on the floor, which I hate. Um, I have to, not in my office, but out at, whenever I walk through the plant, which I have to walk through the plant to get to my office or, or leave it, <clears throat> I have to wear a hairnet. I have to wear a hard hat. I have to wear my steel-toed boot shoes, so I cannot wear my boots anymore, or my cute my cute boots and stuff. Um, I have to wear gloves because I have acrylic nails. Um, you can't have any fingernail polish or anything on, so I have to wear gloves. Um, you're supposed to wear hear, earring, hearing hearing protection, which I don't usually. Um, I have them hooked to my hat. If somebody would say something, I would put them on. And I don't know why I do, why I don't, because I don't hear the best the way it is. And then, but I'm not out amongst that machinery all the time, so that's why I don't really see the need for it. They really bother me a lot. So anyway. Um, anyway, I have my own office now. They put a lock on my door uh, Thursday, so I lock my office now so nobody can get in it if I'm not there. Um, I, you know, so I, I don't have to shut down my computer every time I leave it. I don't, you know, I don't have to put my, my important papers away. I don't have to hide my favorite pens, you know, stuff like that. So it is better, but... The, the part I don't like about it is, you know, it's just not as clean looking. It's a little bit smaller, which I can live with that. Um, I don't have my, I don't have room for my bookcases, stuff like that, which I can live with that. Um, it's having to wear all that gear, put it on, take it off. So my hair looks pretty bad by the time the day is over. Because taking the hair net off, putting it back on, take, you know... And by speaking of my hair, I washed it this morning. I did not put any gel or hairspray or anything in it, so it does not look the best today. So, but I'm coloring my hair later on in the day. So that's why I had to get all of the product out of it. So anyway, let's get to this. This is already seven minutes long, and I was just gabbing. So, oh shoot, I just dropped something. Let's start with the... Uh, palettes. Now this is going to be kind of a long video, so if you like this kind of stuff, please stick with me. Um, I'm going to give a little review on everything that I used. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, stay tuned. Okay, let's get to this. I'm just kind of taking everything out of here so I can get to my palettes. Okay, the first palette I used, uh, so Monday. I, I am very basic when I wear makeup at work. I, I use four things every day, is all. I have no um, foundation on, nothing like that. I work in a plant. So what I do is I wear eyeshadow, uh, mascara, blush, and lipstick. And that is it. Um, I don't feel... You know, a lot of the girls that work in the plant, which there aren't a ton, but the, none of them wear makeup. Um, but I just don't feel like I can go during the day without it. I mean, I just, I just like to wear it. So, and I have it. Why not wear it, right? So anyway, the first um, palette I used of the week was the NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All palette. And this is, it's got a big mirror here. These are the eyeshadows, and this is pretty new to me. Um, and to tell you the truth, I don't remember what I used. But I'm sure I used... Um, well, I can tell you what I used by the looks of them. These two is what I used. Whoops, not. I'm going the wrong direction here. These two here. Okay, and so what I did was this also comes with blush and highlighters. So I used this blush with that, that day. Um, I didn't use, I don't do a highlight when I work, but um, but I used this blush. Oh, hopefully you can see that better. But isn't that nice palette? I really like that palette. All right click it back together here. The next day I used 
my Lorac Pro in the green one, uh, or the gray, green. Does that look green to you? That's gray. And I'm just going to take my Lorac thing out of there. And that's what this looks like. And I wear very, really neutral colors. Um, I wore, I believe, these two that day. Okay. And the NYX, um, I don't find them very powdery. I think they, they go on very smoothly. <coughs> and I don't have a problem with my eye, my shadows lasting at all unless I'm rubbing my eyes. Um, a lot of people say that they don't last during the day. Um, I, I normally, I got to say that I normally put just a touch of um, primer on my eye too. And that helps them stay on. Um, so anyway, the Lorac are wonderful. These um, stay on, go on beautifully. They're, they're like butter. I mean, here's the two that I wore. So pretty. And they're a little powdery, but, but not bad. And I always tap my brush off a little bit anyway. So there's that one. The next one was the La Palette 2 Nude by L'Oreal. There's the La Palette 1 2, which I also own, but I used this one for that day. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay, so I know that I used this, and I used these two for that day. And I, I actually love this palette. Um, some people don't like it so much, but I really do. I just think it's very pretty. Um, it's not, I didn't find it powdery at all. These, um, I wear it quite often, actually. Well, you know, as you guys know, I rotate my, my makeup. So right now I'm going through my bigger palettes, then I'll go on to my smaller palettes, then back and forth. So, um, the next one I wore was my Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This was the first big uh, high-end palette that I myself bought. Um, I don't get to the town very, very much. Yum. I don't get to the town very much where we have an Ulta. So maybe once a year. So a couple years ago I bought this. And I'm in love with this palette. So what I did was I used this all over the all over my eyelid, and I used um, I cannot remember which one I used. If it was, I believe it was this one. Um, and they don't have the names on there, and I must have threw away the sheet. But um, the chocolate smell just wafts at you, you know. And this one here, as many of you know, is one of my favorites. It it's a little bit heavy. Um, a more heavy palette it and it's because it's metal you know but it it's got beautiful beautiful shades of color there's lots of things in here that you could use for this time of year with the sparkles and the you know the the pretty colors but it's the staying power power of this one is awesome okay the last one I used which was yesterday is my Stardust palette, and this is my all-time favorite so far. And I just bought this one. Um, but there it is. Just beautiful. Okay, so I used um, this one here, which is Selfie, for all over my lid. And then I used uh, p -p Girls' Night for my brow or brow for my eyelid and then I did a touch of this over the top I I got I gotta have my gold you know but this stuff here is like butter it just oh my god I love it not a bit of powder not a touch of powder I mean you know powdery stuff it it glides on it blends beautifully i i love this palette all right so that is it for that i'm going to go on to mascaras <clears throat> 
excuse me, I have got, of course, the minute I get online, I either, my nose is, is running, which it's a little drippy today, <laughs> or I, I have frogs in my throat. So, what can you do? Okay, the first one I used is the, the Bare Minerals Lash Domination, and that's what it looks like. Um, I do really like this, but um, it is not my favorite. I mean, I just, I'm not crazy about that kind of a wand. And I hate to say anything bad about Bare Minerals, because I do like Bare Minerals, but I am just not super crazy about this mascara. Now, it goes on fine. It does not clump. It, um, I can't remember lengthening and volumizing and all that kind of stuff. I just know if it makes my lashes look good. And this does. It's just, I am not crazy about that kind of a wand. It almost sometimes hurts a little bit when you're putting it on. And I don't like that. Okay, the next one was Volume Accelerator uh, Mascara with Aveo Volume Boosting Complex, and this is by Rimmel. It's a huge one. I really, I like the packaging. Um, this is what this one looks like. And I am not, this is my least favorite of the week. Look at that wand. Isn't that stupid? I mean, it goes out into a, just a skinny point, which I just, I tend to get more mascara on my eyelid using this wand than anything else. I just don't care for it. Um, although I do like, this is an extreme black by the way, I do like how it look, makes my lashes look, but it is so hard to use. Okay, next one. I used my e.l.f. Mineral Volumizing Mascara. And that looks like this. And um, got to say, this is my next to last that I don't, you know, my, my next to last favorite. Um, everything is okay on this, but it is drying out. And it dries out pretty quickly. I mean, it is an e.l.f. product. But, you know, so, uh, I do, did really like this mascara, but it doesn't have the lasting power of a lot of other mascaras. Okay, one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Bold Lacquer um, by Grow Luscious and from Revlon. Now we got these in, I'm thinking either the Target or the Walmart boxes or both. Um, I got two of them. I have sent, since bought another one because it was on clearance, so I made sure that I bought it. Um, this is the you know, it's got kind of a long um, wand, and I really do like those, the long, longer length stuff. But that's what that looks like. But it makes my, my lashes look awesome. I really, really like this mascara. Um, I do recommend you get this. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, and the last one I used yesterday was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And gotta say, love this mascara. Makes my lashes look awesome. It, you know, it's got kind of a tapered um, brush, but I actually kind of like that. Um, I do like this brush. I would like to, once I use up, I have got a couple of these. So I'd like, to, once I use these up, then I will get a full size because I'd like to see what the full size is like. Um, I, I know I like these. All right, blush. Uh, <clears throat> I already showed you the one blush that I used with my next palette. The next one is by Model Co. And it just says blush on it. And it is Cosmopolitan 1. And there's what it, the, the case looks like. And you could tell already I had to blow on it because it's rather powdery. So let's clean this off my hand and let's swatch these. A regular tissue here to wipe that wet off. Okay, so now this one is very powdery. There you go, there's that one. And it's very pretty on the cheeks, though. 
I do like it, but it's powdery. The next one I used is my Hard Candy uh, Glow All The Way palette, or blush, and it is in color 993 Sunburst, and it's a baked ombre, and this is what the case looks like. And I love this blush. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I go all the way around it. And it's very light then, but it's so pretty on the cheeks. It is so pretty on the cheeks. Okay, next one was Milani. And that is Romantic Rose 01. So pretty. I love their brush, their blushes. So pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I absolutely love that. And blushes, to me, don't stay very long if I don't have foundation on. So, really, I I never even notice my blushes by noon. So, blushes just on my skin do not stay if I don't put on um a foundation or something for them to adhere to I guess so the next one is I just got a swap and that is my Mac oh my god I was so happy to get this and it's been well loved but this is called at dusk so you can tell it's been used but that's okay but it's just the feel of it is so awesome and that I hope I'm hoping you can see all four of them so pretty. Okay, so now we are on to lipstick. Almost done, guys. I'm going to wipe those blushes off here. Okay, so the first one I wore is um, Color Rich uh, Balm. And I believe, is this Maybelline? And it's color... 219 Plush Plum. It's by L'Oreal. And this is what the case looks like. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. There we go. Okay. And it comes in a case like this. I, I really like their balms. They feel so silky on your lips. And that's what that looks like. So pretty. Okay. And I do not wear red lipsticks to work. I wear more um, oh, mauves and neutrals and that kind of stuff. Okay, the next one I wore was by e.l.f. And this is the matte lip color. And this is in natural. Oops. I'm hoping this will come out. There we go. And this is, sorry, that's what that, that looks like. It comes in a little deal like this. And natural is, is uh, more nudie. So pretty, though. So pretty. Um, how they last. The balm did not last me until noon. Um, I am one that I do this a lot. Um, just to, I don't know, if I can feel my lipstick still, I know it's okay. I do have a mirror in my office, you know, so I can look. But um, the balm does not last real long. These, this didn't last too bad, but I, I don't like the skinny, skinny top to it. It's, it's just harder to put on. It takes a little bit more finesse to put it on. I don't know. Um, anyway, that is my elf. The next one was a Rimmel, and this is an older one. Um, this is Mo Moisture Renew Lipstick in 380 Vintage Pink. Oh, dang it. Come here, her. Okay. 
Okay. It's as good as you're going to see that, I think. And that is what that looks like. And this is very silky feeling going on, too. Um, although it does not last. Um, did not last me until, you know, it's probably got a touch um, before noon. Um, my noon is 11 o'clock in the morning because I go to work at 6 in the morning. So, um, anyway, the next one I wore, which was a bit of a disappointment to me, the other color that I have lasted longer to me. Um, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And I have no idea what color this is. Devotion, maybe? And that's this. Um, very, very pretty. Very pretty on my lips. I loved it. Um, it goes on pretty well. Whoops. That's that. So pretty, isn't it? Such a pretty color. But it did not last as well as I thought it would be. Um, it um, did not pass the kiss test. It did not. Uh, it was all over my coffee cup. Um, these don't dry down to a complete matte, in my opinion. Um, I, I did like, I do like it. I will continue to use it. But it is not the long-lasting like I thought it was going to be. And it felt a little dry on my lips. Um, I did, you know, dab um, lip balm on my lips every once in a while because it does feel a little dry. So the other one, though, that I have two of these, and the other one I didn't think that was that bad. So anyway, and the last one I wore yesterday, and I am so impressed with this lipstick. I, this is one of my favorites as of right now. And this is in Milani, and it's 43 Pretty Natural. Um, and it is a matte. It, it doesn't say that it's a matte. Oh. But anyway, that's this. Okay. And it is just so pretty and so creamy going on. And um, it lasted me through lunch. Isn't that gorgeous? Whoops. See, you can tell I kind of like the same range of colors. <laughs> but this is one of my favorites. And I will be using this more than um, I rotate my lipstick. And I have a lot of lipstick. <laughs> but I will be using this one probably once a week because I absolutely love it. It passed the kiss test. Not a bit on my on my hand when I kissed my hand. Um it passed the coffee test. I didn't have any on my coffee cup. Um, I was so impressed. Very impressed with this lipstick. So I highly, highly um, recommend this. And I used the um, um, naked one too. The What's it called? I have like four of them. Uh, matte Naked. See, and this doesn't even say that it's matte. Um, I use the Matte Naked, and this is pretty natural. And it is matte. So pretty. My favorite color right now. Okay, that is it, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, please give me a thumbs up. For Christmas anyway, okay? <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, and I will see you in my next video. Let me know if you use any of these products, what you think of them. Um, if you disagree with any of my, you know, I didn't, I'm not great at giving reviews. I admit that.
So, you know, tell me what you thought of this stuff. Bye. Merry Christmas.